In the first tutorial that we just watched, we learned about NHS Technology Local. What is NHS Technology Local? It's actually the local storage or the local hard drive embedded within your computer. We use that because when we're editing our stuff, it actually takes a lot of the power behind the scenes for that software to engage with those files. So we need that those four folders in storage as close as possible for the creation of our media. Once we're done, however, what we can do is take our finished projects and we can actually move those into a group student gallery so we just see the finished products of each student and we can take a look at the entire class's progression through that assignment. What is that called? That is NHS Technology, NAS. The NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. That is actually a, an external hard drive that lives in the room, but it's connected via the local area network in the classroom. How do you access NHS Technology NAS? You can go down to Finder, and from Finder, you can click the favorites link, NAS. That's going to show you something that's very similar to what we see in NHS Technology Local. The reason being is because we want to mirror our workflows as much as possible. The difference here though is when we go to one of our classes in NHS Technology NAS and we go to one of our projects we're going to see a student gallery folder. The student gallery folder is actually just the final products of every one of the students that was doing this. So, if we look at, for instance, the naming of these, you're going to see that each one of these final photos is named in a particular way. So, let's take a look at this one right here. Name, and then in parentheses, what the assignment is either focusing on or the assignment name. I'm going to go back and we're going to look at another one that doesn't have three pictures. Let's go and take a look at, let's say Halloween. Yeah, and this right here is a CR2. We don't want those. But if we go into student gallery, you can see that this is Halloween and each person had three pictures. We have one, two, and three. But you always want your name first here and then in parentheses the project. So you can see up here this person put their name and then the project but they, they have this in parentheses. You actually want your name and then your project in parentheses here. So you can see that some people are doing it, some people not. Right here is exactly what we want. We want the name, the project, and the number for the pick. Sometimes you'll have one pick, sometimes you'll have three picks, but you can, you can name them there. So again, if we want to get to that, we go to NAS, our class and then whatever the project is and then we put it inside of the student gallery. Now what happens if your NAS is not showing up? Well if it's not showing up you can go to shared all and then scroll down until you see NHS Tech NAS. If you double click that it will say public from there we have NHS Technology NAS right here. Same place sometimes it's not in the toolbar up here and it doesn't load. Sometimes you might not see it all together. In that case, check the back of the computer, make sure your Ethernet cable is fully plugged in. Sometimes they come out. The other thing that you can do is go to NAS and click Connect As. It's going to take a second, but after a second, there's going to be a screen, login screen, that comes up and it's going to ask you how you want to connect. 
Here, we don't want to do register user, we want to do guest and hit connect. Then you should regain access to where we need to go. Again, this is for the final products after you have edited things in your NHS technology local, you moved everything over, you put them in your folders, we have things in your finished videos folder, you take your finished JPEGs or your finished movies, whatever you've created, you copy it, command C, then you bring it over to the NAS, find the corresponding folder, in this case it's focal length, go to student gallery, and then you copy and paste them into here. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at cloud storage.